Bobby Rydell, thank you so very much. All right, now enough is enough. Come in here, lean over here. What? My program director is here, and he has everybody else has been on. Okay, uh, do something. Well, as I told you before we started, I don't think it would be a Dick Biondi show unless you got fired. Okay. So we're going to fire you now, uh -huh. and then we're going to hire you back after the next song you play. Oh, that means number 26 I've been fired. Right. Thanks a lot. Where am I? What, what station is it? 94.7 WLS-FM and 890 AM WLS. So let me see. Now, I'm going to be going to be fired for about maybe three minutes, right? Correct. Okay, well, that's okay. Let me tell you quickly about a wonderful friend of mine, a guy that uh, came to my hops before he even had a, a big hit. And we got to be very, very close. And I remember in 1973, I was in Los Angeles, and he was in the hospital. And I called him up, and I said, buddy, I'll be up. I was going to come up today, but I'll come up tomorrow because he was going to go to surgery. I said, I'll, I'll see you after surgery. And uh, he went to surgery the next day and never came back. He died on the operating table. But a wonderful guy who uh, not only sent me telegrams and things from wherever he went across the world, and even uh, – when he was in Rome and had an audience with the Pope, he had the Pope bless a medal for me, which I still carry. And uh, just a wonderful friend. And this is the song that I remember that he and I had so much fun playing and listening to, Mr. Bobby Darren. <laughs> Bobby Darren, Queen of the Hop, I do want to say thank you to uh, my boss, uh, Mr. Damsky and Mr. Lacrosse, who just rehired me. But they had to do that, you know. They said that. Uh, uh, did, did I get a W 2 for the time I was uh, <laughs> fired? <laughs> You're listening to the Dick Biondi 50th Anniversary Special. Yeah, there you go, the Beach Boys. I have, uh, I don't know quite how to uh, say I'm sorry for what I'm about to say because uh, we have had so much tonight going on. And there are two wonderful people who uh, did call in and uh, we weren't able to put them on. And that one, of course, is uh, Charlie O'Donnell, who is the announcer on the uh, Wheel of Fortune and was the announcer for American Bandstand for years. And uh, my good buddy from Chicago, who uh, used to be security for Elvis Presley, Mr. Jim. Jim Midlack out in California uh, in Las Vegas now, and he was also security for Ricky Nelson and Paul Anka. And to them, to uh, and Charlie O'Donnell, who uh, with me almost uh, got killed at the USC Notre Dame game in uh, L.A. when I we had uh, only tickets we could get were on the uh, USC side, and I came in all dressed up with Notre Dame colors and hats and everything. But thanks to them, my name is Dick. Say your name is who? I told you my name is Dick. Your name is what? Hey, sweet lips, are you listening? I'm Dick. Your name is who? My name is Dick. Yeah, this dude is rowdy. He'll give you a lot of lip. If you ain't listening to him, you ain't listening to Dick. Don't fart. <laughs> 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 Too late. <laughs> Too late. Have you, hey, have you ever been in an elevator when that happened? No. It's I always when you do it, and then somebody opens the door, and it's like, Especially oh, if it's a beer one. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is the Dick Biondi 50th Anniversary Special on 94.7 WLS-FM at 8.90 AM WLS, Chicago. I'm glad you took a bat there, boy. I'll tell you, you sure needed one. That ain't very nice to say to me while you, you know, it's your birthday. Yeah, I'm three years old today, and everybody's been calling saying happy anniversary. Oh, I, I, I got a song I want to sing. All right, let's hear it. Oh, all the songs that we played on that night on May the 2nd of 1960. Oh, we played and we played all the songs. Oh, shut up. Oh, I want to talk about bacon, boy, because bacon is a great way to start off the day. And especially if you got Corn King bacon, boy, because that is the greatest bacon there is around. Fresh from Iowa with that corn country flavor. Just sizzle a skillet full. And boy, what aroma. Pop a piece in your mouth. Mm, never have you been tasting anything like Corn King bacon. Boy, is it big enough. I want to tell you, I, I, I enjoy Corn King bacon, and I hope you do, too. And, and the reason you, it's so great is because you can take a look at it before you buy it. Just lift the, lift the flap there, and you'll 
see what a pound of really fresh bacon looks like. And of course, you can tell it by the, the pictures on the front. An ear of Iowa corn and a yellow plate of sizzling crisp bacon. Man, it's Corn King. That's what it is. And right now, you can get Corn King bacon at Jewel Food Stores in the greater Chicago area. So you hurry to your nearby Jewel Food Store and ask for Corn King bacon because it's the greatest thing in the world to start the morning off with. I like breakfast, of course, is the most important more thing in the morning there, the most important meal of the day. So I have breakfast there with Corn King bacon. WLS. The Nick Biondi Show. I think that all of us should say right here that when you want something wet to drink, Pepsi Cola is the greatest wet thing there is. A lot of people out there don't realize that Pepsi Cola is nice and wet, and, and, and if you want, you know, when you're thirsty, you don't want to drink anything dry, do you? No, of course not. You want something wet, something that will quench that thirst, something that will drench that thirst, something that will make you all wet, right? Pepsi Cola. So if you want to be all wet, drink Pepsi Cola. Be sure there's enough Pepsi Cola to go around. Always buy an extra carton. Now it's Pepsi. For those who think you yeah. In Chicago. I'm all wet and I drink Pepsi Cola. I'm a big drip. WLS. Happy birthday to WLS. Happy birthday to WLS. Happy birthday. You remember the first the first crew that we had here when we went on the air? Do you remember all the guys that no longer work here? They found out that they could get more money working anyplace else. Make a date now to see the great auto. WLS. Yes, solo mio. I am an Italian. I think we know that after three years. This is one done for you with 61 degrees called Da Do Ron Ron Ron. Roses are red, violets are blue. If I don't read a commercial, the boss says I'm through. WLS. Joe Jones and you talk too much. This is the Wild Eye Trillion Dick Beyondy. How about that, boss of mine? I really, it bugs me, man. First thing I get here, you talk too much. Does anybody on Main Street, that Ding Dong just left here and he's going to see a movie at the Shea Buffalo. He's driving a great Impala. And it, 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 it's a convertible. And if you see it, throw rocks at him. It'll serve him right. The Dick Biondi Show at 61 degrees. And now it's time for another unique feature on the Dick Biondi Show. Let's save time and do two commercials at the same time, right? We're going to talk about Lakeshore Honey. Look for the spear and get chewing enjoyment. Yes, you get spearing enjoyment every time you open a jar of Lakeshore Honey because Lakeshore Honey gives you instant energy in just two seconds. So remember the old saying, whenever you feel sort of draggy. Look for the spear, get wrinkly. That's right. There's nothing like chewing a jar of Lakeshore Honey to give you that instant energy you always need. Remember, the greatest thing on cereal or in your orange juice is... Fresh, strong, lively, long-lasting, too. You'll say Wrigley's is great to chew. One more thing a lot of people don't realize, that if you want to get energy but don't want to put on fat, it's always good to get Lakeshore Honey. Because Lakeshore Honey doesn't put on fat. It goes into the bloodstream in just two seconds. Another thing, too, especially when your teeth feel sort of block, you know what I mean? And, you know, you feel like your jaws are getting lazy. You should always... Look for the spear and get chewing enjoyment. With a big... Biggest little treat in all the land. Enough. That's enough for both of them. Forget it. Wrigley's, they got a minute, and so did the other one. So there you go. Don't forget, really, and there. All right? Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Lakeshore Honey. Remember those two, Wrigley's and Lakeshore Honey, because, oh, they're good. They're wonderful. I think you should. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on WLS. 